Hey guys, so I'm gonna tell you the truth about Dragon Ball Legends. Now, I've came to clear conclusion. Ever since Tag Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta came out, it's been just a few days now. You know, honestly, th this Legends Festival is really great, actually, right? A lot of people underestimated them. But the conclusion is that Tag Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta came out, and they were technically speaking supposed to replace Beast Gohan, and that didn't happen. Now, Dragon Ball Legends is the most power crept game i've ever played now think about this guys right so I, I made a tier list which we're going to be going over in just one bit beast gohan is not going to get replaced anytime soon he and pan as well right those those duo right there is absolutely unstoppable from what it seems like but tag super Saiyan 4 goku and vegeta came out and they're just borderline on them right they're borderline now if they're borderline right and beast gohan cannot get past that means for beast gohan to get past some unit in the very near future has to pass Beast Gohan, which then is going to power creep also Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta. So it's, it's insane. It's absolutely the power creep is like no other game I've ever played. It's honestly insane. Now, I've been actually playing um, a lot this season. Uh, I'm ranked top 1000. Uh, I'm a very busy guy, so when I can rank top 1000, I definitely will. Now, this is from my personal experience. Your tier list will probably be different than mine. Who knows, right? Your experience will probably be different than mine. Because there's, you know, um, you know, you might be using a different team and you guys have might, might have a different experience than me, right? Now, the team I've been using is obviously Beast Gohan, uh, Superhero Pan, and Future Gohan. Those trio right there are the team I've been using. So, um, these are my top five. Now, really quick, guys. This is not based off of individual status, uh, except for Beast Gohan. But it's more, it's more meta-based as well as some of these are inter interchangeable. So, I'll be going over that also of what what could be changed but this is clear cut my top 10 um now if you guys have a different top 10 uh comment down below if you guys agree comment down below Just, i want to hear your guys top five top 10 so all right beast gohan no explanation guys no explanation number one unit in the game um he has absolutely everything right i i, I think what really stands out you know besides this raw stats itself right beast gohan the fact that he um if you get caught if if you get priority in the beginning of the match it's it's over you get leaps ahead of your of your enemy leaps ahead right because he has 15 seconds cover null which is really broken um every time his unique gauge fills so that in itself is really broken so if you get caught on this on this guy's combo it's gg card draw speed plus two and so much other stuff uh color null as well cover null and everything right so and damage and everything is absolutely busted right now why i put pan number two is because pan fits perfectly alongside the meta beast gohan right the, the meta base is the nucleus is beast gohan without pan i think it, it would be somewhat of an issue now pan is number two for many reasons and i really want to stick her at number two not move her not move these these two are not interchangeable in my personal opinion right now right uh, look why okay what the main reason why i think you know pan is really good is because she can break combos not drop combos break combos so if there's somebody like a beast gohan comboing her or tag super Saiyan 4 goku and vegeta comboing her right um she can reduce the enemy's key by like 30 it's ridiculous right she can really just reduce the enemy's key and she has color null as well for 60 timer count so that's not even an issue and she's quite tanky as well so um she's got cover change but the, the fact that she can break combos is really important uh for any character that has cover null right because Cover Null is probably one of the supreme abilities you could give a unit right now, right? And to break that supreme unit, it would be something like Pan where she can reduce enemy's key. Or if we just really quick, we'll, we'll get back to Super Saiyan 4 Goku Vegeta. Or, uh, you know, Gohan, Future Gohan, which he uh, destroys two enemies' cards. He also has cover change as well, but uh, we'll get to them in just one bit. Now, Super Saiyan, Tag, Goku Vegeta. My experience, they're amazing. They're highly underestimated. They are a little bit squishy. They are a little bit star dependent, but guys, once you get those combos rolling, once you get Vegeta out there with those card draw speed, uh, cover nullification, it you're stacking up Dragon Balls left and right. Um, it's it feels like you get stuck in this montage, right? This compilation of of like you could literally make a 10 minute video of, the, of this guy's combo. It's absolutely insane, and the fact that you can't even you know cover change to a certain extent right because of vegeta and then he swaps back to goku which then goku obviously you know absolutely not only murders beast gohan right assuming there's no color null um his crits are absolutely insane so if you start landing those it's absolutely gg and his green cards it's it's really good right it's really good so this character is highly underestimated he does need a little bit of stars on him but uh the fact that he does counter 
uh, Beast Gohan to a certain extent is huge, right? And then he can swap to blue, which would then counter Pan to a certain extent as well, because these two units have color null. So, um, yeah, we have that. Future Gohan, little explanation here, guys. Um, you know, he fits in perfectly with the, the, the top two, like I said. Uh, he has endurance. Um, obviously, he uh, he uh, destroys two cards, you know, on uh, on cover change, which is really good for combo breaking. And uh, there's not much needed on him. He got his unique uh, equipment. His stats are pretty good. Uh, his team is pretty good. He's got some pretty good equips, two very crucial unique equips, right? His own personal one, as well as the Android Saga one. So we'll skip that. Now, Tag, now, Tag Super Saiyan 4 Goku Vegeta actually has a very good team, right? Which I believe is Zenkai. Look, the Zenkais, the last three Zenkais they've made is, is absolutely insane, right? Really good. Really good. Now, ex except for the third one, but look. <laughs> Dragon Fist Goku, I had little hopes for. The fact that they've made this character really noticeable in terms of like a Zenkai meta splash is absolutely phenomenal because, you know, besides his damage and all that, besides the double cover change, right? Because it's very important to cover change as well to a certain extent. Um, this character here also has cover nullification, which is what you need in a Supreme Tag unit, right? Alongside a good nucleus of a team, which we're going to be discussing his team in just one bit, which is Tag Super Saiyan 4 Goku Vegeta and Dragon Fist. Um, this character outputs a crazy amount of damage as well. And uh, yeah, there's a little explanation needed. Cover change, damage, team, um, obviously uh, cover null. So stuff like that. Now this is where it gets a little bit swappy, right? Change, like This is where you can change some stuff a little bit. Now this is all speaking from my personal experience. Broly is still very, very scary. I mean, honestly, if, if, if I fight a 14-star Broly, I'll shit my pants. I mean, honestly, Broly... Look... You, you need to Rising Rush this guy, right? And Rising Rush in today's meta is very scary because, you know, you have teams like the top two, Beast Gohan, which, you know, if, if you activate your Rising Rush, now he has Endurance, as well as this guy, he has Endurance as well. So, and then as well as, you know, Tag Super Saiyan 4, uh, Goku and Vegeta has a good team with Dragon Fist, which also has, you know, uh, you know, cover change twice. It's very scary if you team this guy up with anything that has cover change because, you need to land your Rising Rush on this guy, right? He heals, he breaks your combos. Breaking combos is essential in today's meta. Just like Pan, I would even push him up over um, Dragon Fist Goku. I really would. But I'll leave him here for now just because the meta right now is leaning a little bit more towards GT itself. So I'll, I'll leave it at that. But his combo breaking uh, reduces key, reduces vanish. Um, very tanky. And he, he can output a lot of damage as well, assuming if everything goes well. But honestly, this guy is just amazing. Now... Hellfighter 17 is special. More special than I thought because I bagged him in the beginning for just looking at him because, you know, it's it's 17, you know, like how who's going to who's going to care for this character, right? Unless he's good, which he is. So besides the fact that he heals extremely well, right? He heals extremely well. What I really like about this character is the fact that he has endurance nullification. So I'll, I'll skip Piccolo, and I'll skip Vegeta real quick, right? This 17 and this 17 and 18 is a great combo I've been seeing in the top 1,000. The reason why is because both of them have endurance nullification. When you play superhero, which is the supreme team right now, right? The scariest thing about this team is the fact that you cannot rising rush without getting punished. With this team, there is no such thing, right? Now, a lot of you guys might be saying, they be Zoom 17 and 18 dropped off. No, they never didn't. Trust me. Individually, they're amazing. They just need to be in the right position in the meta to be somewhat good. Top 10 is, is very fair for this unit, right? Now, look, the, the biggest issue is in today's meta is cover nullification, right? And it's um endurance those two right i would say right cover uh cover cover rescue you know or, or cover notification anything to do with cover and endurance now i think we might start seeing a playback I, I honestly don't know why we don't see enough 17 and 18 i always have trouble fighting these guys uh superhero uh, uh with my superhero team versus a uh 17 and 18 perhaps hellfighter vegeta and then tag super for goku and vegeta so those three nucleuses are really good because they really counter superhero right tag super Saiyan 4 goku vegeta really counters beast gohan as well as um you know uh 17 18 absolutely just you know they can swap and still you know counter beast gohan as well right because it's their attack unit don't forget so and they they have endurance nullification for you know future gohan for beast gohan it's absolutely stunning and then as well as this guy just heals the whole it's just insane right now everything else is up for grabs honestly like after that i would even push 17 and 18 above piccolo right here and then i'll push these two down 
and then I would push probably um, uh, this Gohan here. Now, this Gohan, I'll probably push eighth, to be honest. So um, that's why I'm talking about interchangeable. So really quick, uh, this Gohan can go here just because uh, he does have, you know, obviously revival and he's still pretty good with superhero. I just think he's very, very squishy. He doesn't have cover, cover nullification. He doesn't have cover change. He just out. He just has revival and a tremendous amount of damage. And assuming you stack it up after he uh, revives, right? And as well as, uh, you know, the green card is pretty good. So that's that's pretty much all. And his blue card is pretty good. That's all that Gohan's got going for him and his team, obviously. But I would even push 17 and 18 here. That Gohan here. Piccolo here, and then as well as um, uh, Super Vegito on the 11th spot. That's what I would do, actually. I'll switch it like that. Uh, Piccolo obviously heals. Super Vegito, you, you guys get the point. So I don't want to make this video too long. You guys got the gist of it. Comment down below your guys' uh, top uh, 10, and I'll read the comments. And I'll, uh, yeah, I'll definitely catch you guys once again on the next one. Have a good one. Peace.